Thanks for stopping by. This is a review of the Central Machinery 30 inch magnetic sweeper available at Harbor Freight. We're having some construction work done and I wanted to avoid the potential for those flat tires. This sweeper picks up nails, screws, and other metal debris. It weighs about 19 pounds, has about a 30 inch width, has 7 inch plastic wheels, and Harbor Freight rates the magnet as having a 50 pound pull. And it has an adjustable handle length to make it comfortable for pulling and pushing on various types of surfaces. This is model 93245. Some assembly is required, which consists of installing the two wheels and the adjustable handle shaft. Each wheel is held in place by a lock nut and washer. This center assembly comes installed. This is the magnet handle, which controls the position of the magnet. This bracket holds the handle shaft, which is installed with those two screws in the center of the picture. This knob allows adjustment of the handle up and down for comfort. This knob is a little on the flimsy side, but should last the lifetime of the tool if it's not abused or dropped. Okay, I'm going to make a couple of passes here uh, with the sweeper. And my apologies, I don't have my camera and tripod, so I'm using my cell phone. Let's see what we pick up. Sweep's pretty uh, smooth. The wheels are good. Uh, the uh, magnet is about maybe an inch or two off the ground, so I find it easier to go across the driveway than to battle with the hump in the uh, highs and lows, so this seems to be better. Let's see what we got. This is the first pass of uh, using the uh, magnetic sweeper on the muddy driveway. And we've already picked up maybe, I'd say close to 8 to 10 flat tires. What I like to do with my reviews, I like to take things apart and see how they work. I was able to get one of the side plates off that supports one of the wheels. Looks like they put a little bit of a backing plate on, a heavy duty uh, bolt. So it looks like it's well made, put together nicely, it'll hold up uh, for a few years of use. It looks like they welded the, uh, the nut on as well. This is looking through the sweeper with the other wheel assembly taken apart. Uh, the magnets are now in the, in the operating position at the bottom. Uh, resting against the bottom aluminum plate. Let me retract the uh, magnets so you can uh, see what they are look like in the retracted position. Okay, I had to rest this over just a pinch. I'm going to reorient the camera so it's going to be a little crooked here with the background. But this is these are the magnets in the retracted position, and you can see all six of the of the magnets.
So here's the final collection of debris that I picked up. There's a metal file and a whole bunch of uh, long and short nails, some roofing nails, a couple of small screws, a couple of nails and a piece of wood. So all in all, the magnetic sweeper did a great job in uh, picking up all the stuff. I find that you have to make a couple of passes and go over the area a couple of times to, uh, to make sure you get everything. Uh, it does make a little metallic clink on the bottom of the aluminum housing and uh, tells you that you've picked up something. This is why you get flat tires on the highway. The 30 inch magnetic sweeper from Harbor Freight gets a thumbs up. It did a great job in removing the metallic debris from my driveway. So if you're a contractor or a homeowner that's having construction work done on your property, you really should get one of these. It's, it cost me 35 bucks and it's money well spent. So if you like this video, please subscribe, press the like button, and I hope all your projects go well. Thanks for watching. See ya. Okay, that's the uh, retracted position. This is my driveway and the construction area. Probably about a hundred or so feet uh, that uh, I was worried about getting some nails in the tires. <laughs>